right. Well, it's been a couple months since I've done a done a video, and I'll tell you, the last video I did wasn't for the just the regular people. It was for the it was for the world, but it was definitely all all directed towards the the leaders, the world leaders, every all the countries, everything that's going on. It was directed to explain exactly what's going to go on, what's going to happen. And um, I went to, do, you know, send it. And YouTube makes you, makes, they like, you know, they, they look at things first, especially mine. And um, it's failed to upload every day since for two months now. And, but after that video... My camera stopped working. My video camera, it would stop. It would just like go gray and then have like a light line in it and just don't. That was it. The picture would be there, but then it would disappear. It's really weird. So, but everything happens. Even if you think that, like, like see, like the FBI and all these people, they, they think that they're in charge and they're not. They're just, there's other people up there allowing them to do exactly what they're doing. I've got a pigeon now. So. Anyway, um, just showed up, her, I think. So, so, here we go. Um, but I see, I don't know that shit bothers me, so I, cause I really don't like doing these videos too much anyway. Um, but I know they're necessary. Um, Everything that's happening in the physical world right now has already happened. Yep. In the spiritual world, it's just playing out right now. It's gotten real ugly for a long time. It's not like a new thing, you know. You go back 100 years, 200 years, 300 years. I mean, what kind of debauchery would you think they were doing in, like, uh, Rome and ancient Greece and all that? Just, come on, multiply. <laughs> it just keeps repeating itself. Um When the event happens, when everything, when the ships finally allow you to see them, you know, when they lift the veil, a lot of people are just going to disappear. A lot of things are just going to disappear. Because a lot of this stuff is just filler. You get it? But it serves a purpose. You know, we call it filler's not thing. It has, you know... There's always an opposite to the evil, you know, you got evil and you got good. Um, and you got it all messed up with the representation of what evil is and what good is. America will be collapse, like most other countries. You're not you're not alone in this. So that's I, you know, and I see this. You're going to see it on the internet as long as that's going. And that that's another thing. As soon as they don't want it to go anymore, they'll just turn everything off. Yep, you know, turn everything off. Um, and with what I guess my job, I'm trying like uh, almost like um. And the angels are talking to Moses or Noah, Abraham. No. But we're the angels. Yeah. We're a reflection of ourselves. Yeah. And that's it. You see, I don't. Now everything makes sense. You get me? Just always, you go through your life. Um, but everyone I met, you know, they had a purpose. There was something I got out of it. Um, 
but let's see, I'm trying to give See, and that's why all this stuff has to happen. They're like, well, why do bad things have to happen? Because you wouldn't believe it if someone told you. Like, what's going on in, 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 um, in the Middle East? Israel's a plague over there, man. They really are. Yeah. And they can, they can mask themselves and hide it behind Jews, but they're not Jews. No. Nope. They just use that to cover. Just like over here at, um, they don't follow any God. Just like over here in America, like, people mask themselves with Christianity. Same thing over there. Yep. There's real ones, but the real ones don't have any power. Because they're not trying to, they're not trying, they're just trying to help the world around them. Politicians want to want to control everything around them. They, they're evil. Politicians are evil. Mm. That was about, uh, I was telling Trump, don't, 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 um, don't trust any politicians. None of them. Yeah, none of them. Mm-hmm. Yep. They're all plants. Yep, they're all paid off. All of them. Every single one of them. Yep. Yep. It's just ones play a better part. Ones, they're just better actors. That's all. They're, and I try to explain this to my, my daughter. <laughs> I said, there is no Republican Democrat. They're, they're all the same thing. And behind closed doors, they're all planning, they're planning your demise. Yep. But the thing is, God's here. God's been watching. So, all these people that have been telling you, you know, love thy neighbor, um, you know, all this just debauchery that's going on in the world, you know, when people are, try you know, tried to, you've, people can't even get married in America anymore. There's no men or women that understand what love is. Um. You've got you've got a complete materialistic view of everything, of society, everything, church, all that stuff. Um, that dude Joel Osteen is evil. I mean, if you can't, if some, if you guys can't pick it out like that, it's just, I mean, just blatantly right there in your face. But he's got money, you know. Evil dude. He really is. He's hard to look at. There's some that are hard to look, harder to look at than others. Um, man, Madonna. Do you see what's happened to her? Yeah, empty. That's what happens when you don't have a family. They've broken down the whole thing. Yeah. It's best to be celibate until you're with the person you're going to spend the rest of your life with. Yeah, on either side. It's best to say celibate. You'll never find your, your true love by just giving it away to everyone. Yeah, it starts there. It really does. It starts with yourself. How you treat yourself. How you how you treat the world. You know? Um, we've been venerating scumbags, sports stars, and whatever. Um, you're too busy watching football and shit to, to pay attention to what your government's doing. No one really cares either. You know, as long as they get their check, that's pretty much it. Cash is king. I'm going to tell you this, Christ is king. And all you that have put money first, the raping all this land, all this stuff, you all are going to have your own hell. It'd be on this plane or the next one. That's the thing. So, like, you can either, it could either be like a quick exit from here, and then you're off to your next, to whatever, because maybe they just want to get right to it. Or maybe they're going to let it, you know. There's a reason you stub your toe. There's a reason you get a flat tires. Yeah. And it's not bad. There's a reason, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But sometimes people's karmas finally catch up with them. And they do. It really does. You you go around and you've pushed all your relatives from the past out of you out of you. Like all your like guardian angels and spirits, you know, that usually attract that we that humans attract because we're 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 bright. You know, so we attract all kinds of things. So 
like me picking up a, a, a worm and bringing him over to the dirt and planting him back in there, you know, just any little things like that. It, it feeds your soul, feeds your inside, and it strengthens you. So when bad things happen, it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't have the same effect on you. Yeah, it's your spirit. You can't break that. So I think it's funny. I know, I know what's going to be happening. And all these people you're looking at right now, all these um, celebrities and all that shit, they're all going to have their day. Yep, the police... The armies, militaries, none of them are going to be in charge. When the, when, the, when the time comes, God is going to, it's going to be like that. And everything's just going to stop. You know? So you know that there's a, what, that total eclipse on the 8th coming with the comet? Yeah. Mm. See, it's crazy how everything happens. I just started reading scripture, so I read Jasher, and um, makes sense to me, all of it, yep. just crazy, you know, you go from low head to young to, you know, Nietzsche, all this, and, and it was just, it was like a backwards thing, you know, I never read any, many scripts, anything, yep, until I was ready. Yeah. Like anything I find, you know, like if I have a good day or a bad day, I still thank God for it. You get me? It really is. And I was never one of those people either. Nope. I remember telling my kids because their mother was like talking about a talking donkey. I'm like, Man, donkeys don't talk. And I'm like, <laughs> now, now I know. But there was a reason it had to be like that. So I see all these people, all my old friends and stuff. <sighs> Not a conspiracy theorist. I'm a truth sayer. The government don't like it. But I am an angel, yep, a high-ranking one, yep, very high. I'm Uriel, and Erica's Michael, yep, they come in pairs, yep. Lucifer, Satan, all that, we're all of it, yep, I'm Ted Bundy, and I'm Mr. Rogers, yep. And everything in between. So. When they land. Yeah. It'd be best off if you um, humbled your old self. Yep. And search for your search to. Find yourself. Because when I, when all thing, everything hits loose, most people are just going to lose it. Yeah. <clears throat> well, they'll be landing soon. This year. I know it. Yep. Well, God bless you all. Read your Bibles. Rudolf Steiner. <laughs>